In this tutorial, we're going to cover constants in Java. So to get started, let's right-click our tutorials.basic package, select New Class, and name the class Constants, and click Finish. And I'm going to create our main method by typing main, pressing Control Spacebar, and hitting Enter. So all a constant is, is a variable that can be changed once its value has been assigned. Constants can be handy when you have a piece of data that will never change and you need to use it in numerous places. A good example of a constant that Java has available for us is the value of pi. And we can see that by doing a system out and saying math.pi. And we run the application, we'll see the value 3.14 and so on. And if you look at how we're accessing that variable, we're accessing it through a class called math. We're not accessing it through a reference to math, but math itself. So that means that the pi variable is a static member. Also notice that pi is capitalized, whereas you would usually write variable names in lower camel case. This is a convention when you're dealing with constant values. So what do we know so far? We know constants never change once a value is assigned. We know that, at least judging by the example we've seen, they are usually static. And we know that by convention, constants are uppercase. So how do we create our own constants? Well, let's go outside of the main method, inside of the constants class, and let's say we're making a video game, and our video game has a fixed resolution. In other words, the width and height of the screen will never change. And because they'll never change, they're good candidates to be constants. So we could say something like int width, all in capital letters, to follow the convention. And we'll set it equal to 800. And we could do the same for height. And we'll set it to 600. Now right now, these two variables are not constants. And by that I mean if we were to try to assign a different value to width or height later on in code, we could do that just fine. What we need to do is to add a modifier to these variables that tells Java that these values should never change. And that modifier is called final. So we say final int width and final int height. So now our width and height variables can never change values, but there's a flaw with how we've coded this. Right now, width and height are both instance variables, which means every time we create a new constants object, there's going to be different copies of width and height in memory, which doesn't make much sense because they're always going to be the same value. So what we should do is make them static. So we say static final int width and static final int height. And now, no matter how many constant objects we create, there will only ever be one width and one height in memory but we could even go a step further and make these variables public. Now in the past I've said you typically want everything to be private and use getters and setters, but constants are an exception because you can never change their value, so there is no harm in accessing them directly. So now we can say public static final int width and public static final int height. And now you can use these values anywhere in your program, just like we use math.py. So for example, we could say a system out and then constants dot width. And if we run the application, we'll see that 800 is printed out. Now while we're inside of the constants class itself, we don't need to fully qualify it with the class name. So we could just get away with saying width. Now recall that int is a value type. And when we make a variable a constant by using the final keyword, we're saying that the value assigned to that variable is final. It will never change. Now it's very similar with a reference type. For example, if we were to say public static final person p1 equals new person, what this says is that our p1 variable, which should be capitalized, is a final reference. It means the value in p1, which is a reference, is final. And what that means is that you can never say p1 equals a different person, but you can access and change the data of the p1 object it refers to. All that is final is the reference itself, 
not necessarily the data inside the object that the reference points to. So let's add to our comment and say declare constants by using the final modifier and constants can be public because there's no harm in accessing a variable directly if you can't alter it. Now there's one last thing I should mention about the naming convention. Let's say I had a public static final int variable and I wanted it to count the number of enemies in our game. If you have a constant and you want to name it with multiple words, the convention is to use all uppercase and an underscore to separate the words. So we could say num enemies equals 5. So now anytime you're reading code and you see variables that are all uppercase, you'll know that those are constants. And remember that because constants are usually static, you should access them through the class name directly and not through an instance of the class. That should be just about everything you need to know about constants for now. Thanks for watching.